Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this uh, new video on Floki, of course. I um, wanted to do a quick little update, and in general, the markets right now seem to be quite interesting. Uh, the market circumstances, to, to get into that first, because that's very necessary. Uh, the market circumstances right now are obviously, I mean, the funding rates are, are ridiculous across the map. So at some point of time, what's going to happen, and that could be very, very soon, What's going to happen is that these funding rates will flush, all right? We'll have a big spike down uh, when Bitcoin gets a pullback. I think ultimately the markets are still bullish and I expect Bitcoin to ultimately stay bullish as well. But there's a good chance that if Bitcoin gets a big pullback here, altcoins will absolutely be demolished, all right? So that's the first thing I want to warn you about. Uh, if you look at Floki right here, technically it looks very bullish, all right? We even just, like yesterday, after I, after I made the video, um, we rallied up to the price target, right? In the, in the last two days, my main price target was that level around 15,500. And earlier uh, this night, not earlier this morning, we even broke above that. And with momentum, all right? If you look at mo if, if you look at the momentum for Floki, which I'm not sure if we have the right numbers for that. Uh, but no, if you look at the momentum, it's, it's still very high. And I think the numbers we will see right here will agree with me on that. Um, yeah, kind of. Here the open interest is starting to fall down, but it was still very, very high, um, especially the 2nd of March. So that means that we got a bullish breakout with momentum and technically we're above the 28 EMA, 50 EMA, so we are still bullish. The thing is, is that Floki at some point of time is going to spike down. And if you look at the previous spike, which we kind of had uh, on Sunday morning, that was a spike of about 25%. I think a spike of, of about 35% to 40% is to be expected, all right? So be prepared for that, all right? Well, at 35%, I think 25%, 35%, that's the spike I expect. Something like that is going to happen if Bitcoin pulls back. Is this really the pullback right now? I don't know, all right? There's no real way of, of telling. There's no real way of knowing, but you should be prepared for it. In my eyes, the, the main question right now is can we actually hold these levels and can the open interest increase? Because at this moment, if the open interest ke keeps decreasing like this, which we've seen that before, so it's not that much of a problem right now. It also happened um, on Saturday. It also happened yesterday morning so or yesterday afternoon. So it's not that big of a problem. But what I do need to see from Floki is if we get to this level right here at 15,000 and a little bit lower at 14,000 and 14,500, I need us to find support there and break above 15,500 again from there. If we can see that, then we can assume that there's new momentum and that we can actually rally up higher towards 17,500 and to 19,000. Um, so technically that's the main thing to watch because if Floki right here, at some point of time, these meme coin rallies are, go are, are going to stop. Then they're out of breath. Um, that could be with a spike, like I said, could also be a little bit slower. So if Floki drops down to that level and it does not find that support, so it's either a big spike down um, or it gets there and it does not break above 15,000 and 15,500, then it's more likely that we'll cool off a bit, drop down a bit lower and consolidate. So for me, there's definitely a possibility we'll rally up from here, but we would need a very bullish Bitcoin. And it does look like Bitcoin is about to find resistance soon. So for me, there's two scenarios. The first one is a big spike down, followed by recovery and a rally, or it's finding some support and slowly settling down a bit. Um, and it's kind of waiting for, for that right now. If I, would have to, if I would have to give you my most likely scenario, I would say a spike in the next uh, 24 or 48 hours, all right? I would say that's most likely, uh, but I will keep you updated on that. And from that spike, like I said, I expect quick recovery as well. So those are my thoughts. I think that's what you need to know at this moment. I will keep you updated on this once I have a little bit more concrete ideas of what the price is going to do, because this was more a, an, an informational video than really a prediction. Um, but this is what you need to know for now. So if you do have any questions, let me know. Um, uh, but for now, th thank you for watching. Take care. Uh, and bye.